Well, hi there. You might have heard the Detroit economy is on an upswing, and so is the North American International Auto Show. The Kobo Center is bigger, cleaner, and better looking than ever before. It's just finished a mid-cycle refresh, but what you really care about is on the inside. So come on, guys, let's go. Guys? Okay, and we go. Say hello to the latest Porsche Cayenne. The new Cayenne Turbo S recently lapped the Nürburgring in under eight minutes, probably because it can brake dangerously late in a corner thanks to its 10 piston front brake calipers. Then there's the GSF, the newest performance product from Lexus. It's got a 5 liter V8 that makes 468 horsepower and 389 pound feet of torque, all of which is sent through an 8 speed automatic transmission. This is a naturally aspirated V8 powered luxury sedan focused on performance, and those are growing scarcer every year. If there's one thing that isn't scarce at the Detroit show this year, it's trucks, and for proof of that, you need look no further than Hyundai. Yes, several trucks made debuts here, but the Santa Cruz concept came as a big surprise and a particularly welcome one. It uses a 2-liter diesel engine to make 190 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. Who knows if Hyundai is actually planning to build and sell something like this, but our thumbs are definitely very much up. And they're going to stay there for the Buick Avenir concept. It made a surprise debut the night before the show, previewing a possible future flagship sedan. We don't know very much about it yet, but GM says it has a twin-clutch all-wheel drive system that can decouple to cut mechanical drag and only power two wheels. But enough about concept cars. The 2016 Volt sits at number six on our list, and its buzz is all for real. For the second generation, Chevrolet's extended range electric car finally rides on its own platform and can now travel up to 50 miles without burning gasoline. It has a smaller, more efficient battery, a bigger gas engine, and fresh styling that keeps it looking like a Chevy Prius. But for all the fossil fuels people save by driving the Volt, there will probably be at least one of these puppies running to keep things in check. Ford's second generation soft road racer has more power, more suspension travel, and even meaner looks than before. Oh, and it uses a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 this time, and a 10 speed transmission. The new CTS-V debuted here this week with a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 closely related to the engine you would find in the new Corvette Z06. It turns out 640 horsepower and 630 pound-feet of torque to reach a claimed top speed of 200 miles an hour. But if an American sledgehammer wrapped in rich leather isn't appealing to you, Acura finally has your fix. Yes, the production NSX is here in Detroit promising super high performance designed to be accessible for most drivers. It offers at least 550 horsepower from a twin turbo V6 mated to no fewer than three electric motors. If you're wondering why the NSX isn't number one, let's just say we took it down a few pegs. Three to be exact, one for every year of painful waiting staring at concept cars since the first one debuted here in 2012. And in number two, there's a track-focused product from Ford that can boast some impressive firsts. It has Ford's first flat-plane crank V8. It's going to be the first naturally aspirated V8 from the Blue Oval brand to crack 500 horsepower from the factory, and it's the first car from a mainstream brand to come with wheels made of carbon fiber. But if you're just not happy with a Mustang, all you need to do is a 180-degree turn at the Ford booth to see what's in number one, the Ford GT. Looking more like a Le Mans prototype than something you could legally drive on public roads, this is actually a production-ready vehicle. It uses a 7-speed dual-clutch transaxle mated to a version of Ford's 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 that will make at least 600 horsepower. Best of all, it's scheduled to enter production next year.